Papa One's uh, right hand dog if you uh, just drop back. In close formation, sometimes line astern, sometimes abreast, 18 assorted landing craft, offshore raiders and assault boats steamed up Plymouth Sound into their new home at Royal Marines Tamar. Their arrival is part of a major plan to bring together almost all of the Navy's amphibious assault capability in what the MOD is calling a centre of excellence. For the first time, the Royal Marines small assault craft are being based together with these, the Royal Navy's large assault ships, in what the Marines say will be an amphibious one-stop shop. Yeah, well, if you just hang far there, we'll wait for that passport to come out and then we'll go in. The importance of this new, closer working relationship was not lost on the man responsible for teaching Royal Marines to deploy from Royal Navy ships. To get all these craft together and to get the, the shipping co-located with the Royal Marines and operate on them is absolutely key because it means that each of the two parties, both dark blue and green, start to understand the ways of each other and how to operate as a, as a uh, coherent team when they actually put to sea on operations. It's very different traditions within the Royal Marines Corps and in the, the dark blue navy itself and so when those two uh, meet there's inevitable frictions. We can minimise those frictions by everyone working in the same environment and training in the same platforms. The move means the unit joined commanders of 539 Assault Squadron, who've also just moved to RM Tamar with their fast offshore raiding craft and hovercraft. But it also means they leave behind their base near Poole, which they've called home since the Second World War. 90 permanent staff move with the squadron to the new £30 million training centre at Devonport. We've been in Poole for a long time, so there's obviously a, a reticence to leave an area we know well. But I think Plymouth represents a new, a new challenge, a new dawn and the opportunities that the training area and the co-location with the shipping presents will be phenomenal and I think it's a, a definite opportunity to really develop the amphibious capability for the future. The squadron has spent the last three days familiarising themselves with their new West Country training grounds. The MOD says that with land-based operations in Afghanistan winding down, the new centre will help the Marines focus once again on their more traditional role, operating ship to shore. Tim Jones, Forces News, Devonport Naval Base.